We'll call it the kayak.com of small business lending. BizFi is an online marketplace that provides companies easy access to non-bank lending. Now launching this week, it aims to lend to companies that need $100,000 or less. It allows them to compare funding choices from many sources and get their money within days. Well, joining me now is Steven Scheinbaum. He's the founder and merchant cash and capital founder which owns BizFi. Stephen, thanks for joining us. Um, what kind of reception have you received? What, what sector seems to be most interested in these kind of loans? Um, we've been, the product has been really well received. We've had tremendous interest from restaurants, um, auto parts and repairs, nail salons, construction companies, and just a whole myriad of businesses. Why do you think that this kind of lending is popular right now? Why can't these guys just go to a bank? Well, I think, I think that since the recession of 2008 and 2009, banks have had a really hard time lending to small businesses, whether they're still concerned about the losses that they took or the new regulatory environment that they're in. And since that time, so much capital has come into our space and the technological innovation has made the user experience so good and so easy that it's really just been a great opportunity for borrowers to come and get money really easily and quickly. What's sort of the average loan that you're seeing? We, we go from 5000 to 500000 but the average deal is approximately $50,000. Hmm. Um, and what do people wind up doing with that? I mean, $50,000 from a, uh, expanding your business standpoint really doesn't seem like that much. No, well, the average is, the average is 50000 but people are using it now mostly for expansion or growth purposes, whether it's to take another location, mm -hmm. to, upgrade some, to upgrade some equipment, to put in a new line. And some business owners are just using it really to deal with seasonality or cyclicality that they face. What's the average interest rate payment on these kind of loans? It really ranges. We range from SBA lenders who have uh, who started around four or five percent up to equipment finance companies and factors and cash flow lenders that are in the high teens or low twenties. Wow! So it really depends on the credit worthiness. Well, that's huge. Uh, high teens. That, that's an enormous uh, interest rate payment. I mean, these are small businesses. How can they afford to kind of repay that? Well, the, I'm, I'm talking about the effective yield to the effective yield to the borrower. And if you look at um, if you look at the in fact, excuse me, the interest rates that traditional um, alternative finance companies are providing, whether it's equipment finance companies or AR factors, it's be, that's been the rate for years and years. And it's really nothing new. Nothing new. All right. What, what's the risk to the lenders? The risk to the lender is, is that they have to get comfortable with the borrower and rely on their credit models and decision engines so that they can provide funding within hours, you well, know, which is a huge change from what used to be. Uh, what kind of risk, though, is, are they have in terms of not getting their money back, default risk or anything along those lines? Most of, most of the default rates have traditionally have held up to their traditional levels. We collect around 93 to 94 percent hmm. of every dollar that's owed to us. Anything change when the Fed hikes rates in terms of what the yield might be or a coupon like this? No, I don't think I don't think there'll be any change to the borrowers. Our cost of capital will go up and will will go up slightly, but we don't plan on passing that cost on to the to the business owner. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Sort of shedding this light on non-bank lending. Stephen Scheinbaum, founder of Merchant Cash and Capital Founder, which owns BizFi.